Lesson three is going to talk about percentiles and dispersion. Now, what is a percentile? All that means is it's a location in the data set. We have been locating certain positions in the data set. We've already done the mean, which was the average, something you already know how to do. We have done the median. And where's the median located? In the middle. Good. And we did the mode, but that really wasn't too helpful in most cases because you don't necessarily have numbers that repeat at more than other numbers. Well, if we can locate numbers in the middle, we also want to be able to locate other positions. Now, why would you want to do something like this? If you have had a child and you take them to the doctor, some things that are measured in their first few visits are how long are they or height, what's the circumference of their head, uh, maybe how much they weigh, and usually someone will tell you my child is in the 20th percentile for weight. And that has a meaning. Or my child is in the 95th percentile for height. And that has a meaning. And so percentiles are actually locating a position in the list. Now, the higher the percentile, the higher you are for that measurement. So if you're measuring height and it's a 95th percentile, then that's probably a pretty tall child for their age. If you were saying weight was the 20th percentile, then you're saying they're on the low end of the weight, which means they are underweight possibly for where they are supposed to be. Okay. Um, if you play any games online, you know, my husband likes to do fantasy sports online. He likes to see where he ranks and basically think of it as a rank. How does he rank compared to all the other people who pick certain sports teams to win? Did he rank high? Did he rank low? Did he rank in the middle? You know, where did he rank? So we've got to be able to find a way to figure out where you rank. Now, dispersion, that's just going to be how the data is spread out. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But I want to spend the first few minutes talking about percentiles. Now, what I'd like to do is to use the lecture notes that I've posted on Moodle for you. And I want to talk about percentiles and the actual process for doing it. Now, we know it's a position. So it's some position in your data set, and you want to give the position of a certain data value. So you want to tell me where it is and then what the data value is. So you'll be able to tell me where to find it, and you'll also be able to tell me what the actual value is. So that if you were to tell someone, my child is in this percentile for height or whatever, then you could actually give that information. Now, just like when we did the median, we have to put our data in numerical order. And you're going to do this from lowest to highest. So just like median, you cannot get the correct answer unless you put the data in order. So a lot of times, if I see percentile come up, the first thing I'll do is just put everything in order. Okay? The second thing is to calculate an index. Now, this is on your formula sheet. And it's this formula where I equals, and there's a small calculation for you. You're supposed to do P divided by 100 times N. Now, P is going to represent the percentile that you want to do. So if you want the 20th percentile, you would put 20 over 100. If you wanted the 75th percentile, you put 75 over 100. And notice we talk about rewriting percents as decimals. You always have to divide by 100. Well, this takes care of it for you. 75 divided by 100, 20 divided by 100, whatever number you have. What does N represent? The total, okay, the total number of items that you have. So we were talking about N before when we did mean. And we said, add them all up and divide by how many you have. Well, add them all up and divide them by N, okay? So we're going to need to know how many numbers are in our list. Once you've calculated the index, then you can go to the data where it's in order, and you're going to find the position. Now, you have to figure out how to use this index. <clears throat> you will either... A, 
if I is not a whole number. So you do this calculation and you don't get a whole number. You get something like 2.1 or 2.9. It doesn't matter what you get. You just get 2 point something, 10 point something. It really doesn't matter. If it's not a whole number, the answer is in the next position. And let me write down again. So let's say you figure out I is 2.1. When you're trying to calculate this percentile, your answer is in the third position. So when you have your data in order, you can go to the third number, and that's what you're going to get. Now you might say, well, how come you're rounding up? Because normally we don't do that, and we try not to round too much. But this is a specific calculation where the rules are structured. You have to follow these rules. So no matter what it is, just follow the rules, whether it's something that you would normally round up or not. If it has any kind of a decimal, you go to the very next position. So what if your I turned out to be 3.9? What position would you go to? The fourth position. And so you have your list of numbers and you figure out the fourth number. Okay, so if you do not get a whole number, you need to go to the next position. Okay, so that's how you're going to get it if you don't get a whole number. What if you do get a whole number? Okay, if I is a whole number, if you actually get a whole number, the answer is the average of positions I and I plus one. And that may again seem weird, but as soon as I give you numbers, I hope this will be a little bit clearer. <coughs> if you do get a whole number, like Four. You will go to the fourth position, and what's I plus one here? Fourth position in which one? Fifth position, good. Okay, so then you'll look at what's in position four and what's in position five, and you will take those two numbers and you will average them. Okay, so you'll look for the fourth and the fifth number and you will average those two numbers. What we're saying, Brad, you're referring to the fourth and fifth number. I'm just making it up for right now, just a what-if scenario. We're going to do some actual calculations in just a minute. Now, I know the rules seem a little weird, and it's probably something you've never had to do before. That's why they're on your formula sheet. You do not have to memorize them. However, you have to be willing to follow the rules. So if you don't follow the rules, you're not going to come up with the right answer, okay? Let's try an example where I'm going to put my data in order. I'm going to ask you for a particular percentile, and then based on your results, you'll either do A or B, okay? So have your rules right beside you as we do these, and we'll see how to do any percentile. And remember, all we're doing is locating a position. Now, on your lecture notes, there is a list of 25 set, uh, 25 test grades, okay? I'm not going to list them out, out of order. I'm going to write them down in order just to save us a step. But you're responsible for doing that part on your own. But let's say you have 25 test grades. We have a 33, 48, 57, 65, 
check that you have 25 grades. Make sure you didn't leave something off. Okay, and I have 25 grades here. Okay. An easy way again, like I said, I'm putting them in order for you first because it has to be in order before we can do anything else. But if you're looking through the lecture notes that I posted for you, um, a stem and leaf plot was done. That makes it real simple to put things in order very quickly. So you don't sit there and run through the whole list. And especially with there being 25 grades, you can miss a grade very quickly. So you always want to double check everything you're doing. Now, suppose that I ask you to calculate the 20th percentile. Now, first of all, I want you to use a little bit of common sense. 20% as far as a 20th percentile, would that be on a high end or a low end of a ranked list? It should be on the lower end. So it should be somewhere probably in here, I'd have to guess. But I don't know exactly which number it is. But I know it's on the low end because 20% is a low number. Okay? So now, I have to compute my index. So you have to do your little formula. So let's do the index. Your index, we're calling that I. And my formula says do your percent divided by 100. And what would N be in our case? 25, because we have 25 items. Okay? Now use your calculator and do 20 divided by 100 times 25. Okay, is that a whole number? Okay, this is a whole number. Now, look back at your instructions. Only follow the rules for a whole number. The rules said, if you look back at them, if it is a whole number, that percentile is the average of the items in positions I and I plus 1. So this represents position 5. You also need to go to the next position, position 6, and you need to average the numbers in position 5 and position 6. Okay? That's all you have to do. You know how to average. You know how to add two numbers up because it's just two numbers and divide it by what? Divide it by 2. Okay? So now how do I find position 5 and 6? I just go with my list that's in order and count. So that's position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so I'm going to take 67 and 69 and I'm going to average them. So my 20th percentile is going to equal 67 plus 69 divided by 2. And what does that end up being the final answer? 68. 68. Okay. And you can add them up and then you can divide by two however fast you want to do it, but it will give you a final answer of 68. Now, remember what we said, 20th percentile should be on the low end of this list of grades. Is 68 definitely on the lower end? Mm -hmm. Definitely. If you had told me 90, that would have been a bad answer because that's up too high. I know that 20% is on the low end. Also, what this means is about 20% uh, of the students made this grade or lower. So about 20% made a 68 or lower. What percent made a 68 or higher? 80. Okay. So it helps me see where I fall as a student. If I made a 68 and this was a list of grades, I would be at the 20th percentile. That's pretty low. It's not where I'd want to be. Okay? 
but I know that 80% of the students are probably there or higher than my grade. But that's what you would do if you get a whole number. Okay? Any questions? All right, so let's try one where you're going to get something that's not a whole number. So let's do the 25th percentile. percentile, the first thing we've got to do, once it's in order, is get our index. Alright, so that's going to be I equals, and then I'm going to do 25 divided by 100 for the 25th percentile. What do you multiply it by? 25. 25. Okay. What do you get? I hear 0.625. That's going to be correct. 25 divided by 100 times 25. Okay. Is this a whole number? No. Okay, so this is not a whole number. 25 divided by 100 times 25 is 6.25. So you not going to the not yet, I'm not over yet. Okay, but 6.25 is just from this calculation. Now you get 6.25. This is not a whole number. Go back to your instructions. Because I don't want you to have to worry about this too much. This is just something, learn how to follow the instructions to help you find the position. If it's not a whole number, round up. Go to the next highest position. So where would you go? Seven. Okay, so you'll round up. So you will go to position seven. Okay? Now position seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's position seven. Seventy-five. Okay? That's actually my twenty-fifth percentile. There's nothing else that needs to be done. And I will just simply state my answer is 75. <clears throat> Notice, or go ahead. If it was 7 for anything, you would have just run it to 8 and went to the right place. Yep. Okay. No matter what the decimal is, you always round up. And that's like I said, I do not want you to have to memorize what you have to do. Just read it and follow it and you can get your answer. But no matter what it is, round it up and go to that position. Um, do notice that our answer before was 68 and now we have 75. 68 was the 20th percentile. 75 is the 25th percentile. Does it make sense it's a little bit higher? <coughs> yeah, because your percentile is a little bit higher. So it moved a little bit higher in the list. <coughs> 